Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel we use uh, interesting, relaxing, quick questions and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting question. We have 8 plus 8 divided by 8 times 8 plus 8 we have in parentheses. So it's like a challenge, we have all the time 8, we have addition, division, multiplication right here. So as you can see everyone know about this order of operation, everyone know about this mass operations right here. We have addition, division, multiplication, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about it, maybe in the second grade, someone learned this. So here is our question and right here on the left hand side it's really great to check our answers in the end of the video. We have four options, we have uh, A, B and C and D, so four options. You can easily check your math skill, your brain level right here or school knowledge maybe, maybe you graduated already from school, you can easily check these, check these answers with this, with my solution, okay? Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, to start, to, so start to solve this, we have eight, plus 8 divided by 8 and times 8 plus 8 in parentheses. So as you can see right here we have maybe a long expression but it's not like a complicated expression with, with sine cosine, with squares right here, with square roots, it's not like that. This is like very easy expression but in the same way this is very tricky expression. Because right here we have a lot of mass operations. We have addition, we have division and we have um, we have uh, these parentheses and right here we have addition. So as I told before, one part of students for example don't know about order of operation. They solve it like that. Okay, from left to right the first sign, first first sign they add, then they divide, then right here we have multiplication and then parentheses and addition in parentheses, something like that. One part of students solve it like that. This is like the first case, a lot of students solve it like that. This is first part, uh, one part of students solve it. But another part of students think, okay, I want to start for example from a from division, right here we have division, then for example go with multiplication, then addition, for example, then parentheses. Another part of students think, okay, let's start from parentheses, maybe I know something about order of operation, parentheses, for example, then from left to right, addition, division, multiplication, something like that, multiplication. So as you can see, a lot of these order of operation. One part of students solve it like that, another part, another part solve it like that, but in math we need to know what is one and only one correct answer, okay? It's not like that that we choose one, one order of operation and this is a correct answer. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because we cannot solve this question in, in two, two options, yeah? We cannot say that the answer is option A and option B, yeah? According to these uh, thoughts right here. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world and let's solve this question according to PIMDMC because mm, yeah, let's look at it, let's look at this PIMDMC and I want to say I respect every order of operation, for example board mass, for example another order of operation, but I choose PIMDMC because I prefer this order of operation and let's solve this question. So I just want to separate this solution, this is my thought about it, this is my notes, but let's go to, to solve this. So first of all we have 8 plus 8. 8, we have divided by 8 and in parentheses 8 plus 8, okay? Okay, so PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and we have these steps right here, okay? First step parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division and right here the steps. So let's start from the first one because letter P is the first one and we need to start from parentheses, okay? So let's look at it. We have parentheses because right here, if you look closely from left to right, right here we have this parentheses, okay? So we need to start from these parentheses. And it's not correct that we need to start from addition, division. As you can see, the first step is parentheses. So let's look at it and let's solve this first step according to PMDMC. So we have parentheses, so we need to start from these parentheses. So we have 8, we have plus 8 divided by 8 and times 8 plus 8, everyone know about it. Everyone know about 8 plus 8 equal to equal to 16. Okay? Okay. We completed this step. This is really great. Let's go to the next step. The next step, exponents. What about exponents right here? As for me, I didn't see any any like powers, any squares, cubes right here. I don't see it. So we just skip this part. We don't need it because with this part, this question will be like more complicated. For example, imagine you have, for example, 8 to the power 10. You need to raise this. We don't have it and it's really good. So we don't have exponent. Okay? Let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is multiplication, but a lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we need to multiply 8 by 16, which is absolutely incorrect, because according to PMDMC, according to this order of operation, we need to look at it in a perspective of a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have this multiplication, division sign, doesn't matter, division, multiplication, multiplication, division, we need to find this expression with multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. 
So addition, we don't need it. Yeah, right here we have division, we need this expression, and we have multiplication in the end. So we have we need this expression. This is our la this is our second step. After parentheses, our second step is to solve this a divided by a times 16. But as I told before, uh, there are a lot of discussion about this expression: division first, then multiplication, or multiplication first, then division. So because here's our main question: what do we need to start with? We need to divide it first or multiply, or multiply it first, then divide. According to PMDMC, we need to look at it. What is the first sign from left to right? Okay, let's scan. What is the first sign from left to right? The first sign from left to right from this expression is this division, which is really important for us because we need to start from this division. Doesn't matter. Division, multiplication, first sign from left to right, we need to start with. So 8, 8 divided by 8 equal to, equal to 1. So here's our 1. So I write it, this expression. So 8, 8 plus, right here we have 1, 1 times 16. Okay? Okay. So 1 times 16, we need to do this because right here our expression is our, our next step. So right here we have 1 times 16 equal to 16. So we have 8 plus 16, which is equal to 24. And saying right here we have like uh, this addition part. Here we have it. We don't have any subtraction part, but addition is our last step. You can see it on this paper. So addition is our last step after multiplication and division part, which is from left to right. Doesn't matter. Division multiplication, first sign from left to right, and you solve it. I know that according to a different order of operations, it will be like completely different answer. For example, according to Bodmas, it will be like completely different answer, which is, which is really great for us. Okay, so correct answer is 24. Let's look at this option. Oh, we don't have this option. We have 32, 16, 8. Yeah, we have 4 factorial. From school, you need to know that 4 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 4. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 24, I guess. Yeah, we have 2, we have 6, we have 24. Yeah, so 4 factorial, this is the same 24. So let's write, let's write our answer. Let's write our answer right here. So our answer, this is option, option, option C. Okay, is a correct answer to this question. And, and here's my solution. Of course, I really want to read your comments about this. What about your solution to this question? What about your thoughts about it? What about your order of operation? But if you don't trust me, you can easily check this question in the in scientific calculator. It will be really great because um, a lot of calculators solve this problem as a type it in from addition, then from left to right, which is absolutely incorrect. If you want to check this question, you can easily plug it into scientific or graphing calculator. So here's my explanation. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you understand something new. It, this is my goal to this video. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos.